Arsha Prayog is a very important principle. The editor should never have the mentality that he's better than the author, that he has something more to contribute than the author does, that the author really doesn't know what he's doing, but he knows what, what he's doing. That's offensive, and that is uh, ruins everything. It's an offense to the, the Acharya. Hare Krishna, and welcome to yet another unfortunate change made by Jadweta Swami and the BBC International. As we see here, Jadweta Swami is saying that we violate the Arsha Yoga principle if we do one or more of these three things. Let us see here. He says that our super yoga is a very important principle. One, the editor should never have the mentality that he's better than the author. Or two, that he has something more to contribute than the author does. And three, <clears throat> that the author really doesn't know what he is doing but he knows what he's doing. And the result of that is that this is offensive. You can call this A, that is offensive. And B, that ruins everything. It is an offense to the Acharya. So with this in mind, just like last time, let us jump to Bhaktar Tobin's Blazing Edits. This was originally posted on the Sampradaya Sun. Dr. Tom writes, and he calls this opinionated editor. <coughs> Sorry. And this is uh, taken from Bhagavad Gita 647. And uh, the original and authorized 1972 edition says, And of all yogis, the one who always abides in me with great faith, worshipping me in transcendental loving service, is most intimately united with me in yoga, and is the highest of all. Now, the draft of the so-called original manuscript says, Of all practitioners, he who is always abiding by me within himself, great in faith, and rendering transcendental loving service unto me, he is the highest yogi, uh, he is the highest of all yogis. So, as we see that um, the original and the manuscript are quite close to each other, Hagriva, edited for force and clarity and did a good job. Now in Jadweta Swami's Bhagavad Gita 1983 edition, Jadweta writes, And of all yogis, the one with great faith, who always abides in me, thinks of me within himself, and renders transcendental loving service to me, he is the most intimately united with me in yoga and is the highest of all. That is my opinion. So, not taking all the other changes into consideration, that last sentence, that is my opinion, Tobin writes, there is no basis for this last added sentence, that is my opinion, either in the original or in the manuscript. And as we know, Jadweta Swami's claim to fame is that he made the Bhagavad Gita closer to what Shil uh, Prabhupada originally said in his drafts. But here we see that uh, Jadweta Swami simply adds this sentence, now let us go back and take a look at what Jadweta Swami uh, said in the video. He said that the editor should never have the mentality that he's better than the author. So here we see that Jadweta is adding a sentence, so I guess he thinks that his translation here is better than Srila Prabhupada's. I mean, why would he else, why would he add this sentence if he didn't think like that? And uh, Jadweta Swami says that uh, the, the editor should never have the mentality that he has something more to contribute than the author does. Again, we see that Dwayta Swami, he is contributing with this new sentence. And three, that the author really doesn't know what he's doing, but he knows what he's doing. Now, perhaps um, that Dwayta Swami's uh, reasoning here is that uh, Srila Prabhupada simply did not uh, make a very good translation. And now Jadweta Swami thinks that his translation is better. So 
that implies that Srila Prabhupada didn't really know what he was doing. I mean, if, if Srila Prabhupada knew what he was doing, then why did he not add this sentence? I mean, that, that must be the way that Jayatwaita Swami is thinking. I can't really think of anything else. So what we see is that Jayatwaita Swami, he's actually violating the Arshabra Yoga principle according to his own definition. So he's living in contradiction with one side of this mouth. He says that we should not violate the Arshabra Yoga principle. He says that we should never think that we are better than the author, that we have more to contribute than the author. And uh, we should never think that the author doesn't really know what he's doing. That's an offense to the Acharya and it ruins everything. Now, with the other side of his mouth, or actually with his hands, he is changing Srila Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita. He's adding new things. He's rearranging and changing in ways that brings the Bhagavad Gita farther away from what Srila Prabhupada originally said and wrote. So if you disagree with me, and think my reasoning is wrong, you're more than welcome to add your comments below the video. Um, for everyone else, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share these videos on social media. Thank you very much for watching. Hare Krishna.